Good morning, Vlogtober day 13. Uh, it is a rainy, rainy day. It's supposed to rain all day, which is kind of a bummer because uh, my husband is off of work today and he was, he had something to do in the morning and then we were gonna keep working on tearing out the bushes this afternoon and it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening. Uh, but it's okay, we'll get it done in time. Uh, but I'm actually, I ran out to Walmart. We just need a few things like shampoo and hand soap. They didn't have the refillable containers of hand soap uh, last time I went out looking for it. So I'm gonna see if they have any here and just kinda get like bananas, a few just random things that, um, some things they don't carry at Aldi. Like we like to get Ovaltine. That's what my kids like to have whenever they have like hot chocolate or chocolate milk. We usually get Ovaltine and Aldi doesn't have any equivalent to it. They don't have any like nest quick or anything like that just a frivolous thing but i'm gonna go and see if i can um find it here they usually do have it so i just have a little list on my phone and i'll just go in and brave the rain and just pick up a few things okay we're back home whoa uh dan's actually helping a friend with some car stuff out in the garage and he actually produces videos and he may watch these videos um so it was really, really cool just to sit with him and talk about video stuff, editing, music, like it's definitely, you know, I've always kind of taken this channel as like a hobby and just something I enjoy doing. It's just fun, but it is also fun to kind of hone my skills and try to get a little bit better at editing and different things like that so that it's more enjoyable for you guys to watch. So it was cool to sit and talk with him. But now I'm going to take last night's dinner, the leftover chicken, and turn it into some chicken salad. So I'm gonna chop up some celery and onion, and I do mayo, salt and pepper. If I have almonds and um, grapes, I like to put those in, I don't have either. So I may put in dried cranberries, or just leave it very simple, and then I like to eat it with either on a sandwich, or, um, or I'll put it with, um, like avocado, chopped up avocado. I like it with tomato and just kind of eat it out of a bowl like that. It's really delicious. Um, or with crackers. It's just, it's great. It's, you know, great source of protein and the kids like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together. It's still raining quite a bit out there also. And you guys can't even really tell. Let's see if I can zoom in. Our trees are just gorgeous back there. They're all turning red and yellow and orange. It's just so beautiful. Okay, chicken salad is all done. I have to say, it is exceptionally good today because of all the the seasonings that I put on it when I baked it last night. The paprika, especially, makes it kind of like smoky. It's really, really good. So I'm going to mix that with a little bit of avocado chopped up and a piece of apple chopped up to give it a little bit of that sweetness that I like in my chicken salad. And then kids are having it in bowls with um, some crackers. Zero plus zero, nothing. Is okay, how do you write nothing? What number is nothing? Zero. Zero! Good. So when I went to Walmart, I picked up a couple more workbooks because we have gone through a lot of the ones that we have. Lara really enjoys doing them. So I grabbed this one as well. It's got some counting, it's got um, some letters and things like that. So those are cute. And then we found, can I see that book? In this book that we have. Um, which talks about animal ears. There's a couple animals in here that are in that Wild Kratz book. Like the Okapi. Like the, not the Okapi, but the Serval was in there. So I'm just doing a little pre-K, a little reading. Okapi. Just, um, Luke is down for his nap, so just trying to keep quiet. So it has just been a real kind of slow day at home. It's a rain day, so I haven't really gone outside to play or anything. Just made myself an afternoon coffee. Just gonna be coloring with the girls. Luke's still napping. Um, the only productive thing I did today, let me put this down for a second. I got that bittersweet at my parents' house. And it's funny because when I picked it, you can see in that video, it was very yellow. And literally just in a day or two, it, like the, there's like a paper coating that's on the outside of these, um, the little berries or whatever. The coating just fell off, probably just from being dry, I'm gonna assume. Um, but I just love, I love the wild vines of the bittersweet and the color is just perfection. And they look like little 
like pumpkins kind of see how they're like kind of segmented I mean it's just so gorgeous so I put a little bit there on the mantle and then I also really love putting it on this ledge in our dining room which I kind of thought about Christmas garland when I put that ledge up but I didn't even think about this for the fall time but it's so perfect and I love how it kind of hangs over so that was a little bit of something I did around the house today Okay, Lara's the judge. Scariest. And what are you picking? Scary. Scariest. Okay. Hmm. You can't look. Oh, yeah, you can't look. Okay, we'll hide our things. Hey, judge, what are you doing whispering in her ear? Can't do that. No. I'm it's got to be unbiased, it. right? <laughs> oh, thank you. I won? Let's see Evie's. Oh, that's pretty scary. That I mean, I'd be more scared of a lion than a pumpkin. Dinner is just about ready. This is a lentil and beef um, stew or soup. It has carrot, celery, onion, garlic, and a can, a small can of um, diced tomatoes that I actually uh, like ground up in the ninja, pureed it, I should say, and then put it in there and let it simmer. A little bay leaf, salt and pepper, and it's delicious. And we will probably serve it with some shredded cheese and we also have avocado which i would like to have with it and maybe sour cream if people want it it's not spicy or anything um but that might be good and then in the oven i just put in the biscuits that we just cut out and those should be ready they only take like 12 minutes i actually have a video about how to make biscuits these specifically and i'll link to it if you want to see since we got these two new um workbooks i'm just going through and tossing some of the old ones that are completely finished like she just loves doing it and she'll do them on her own and just like go through them so i al already tossed three others that were a little bit older that had just you know i had been totally used up all right biscuits are done i'm about to sit down and eat okay so i'm just going to shred up some colby jack to eat with it um and the nice thing about soup is that you can like just clean everything while it is you know simmering away so i have all my dishes pretty much cleaned up just one there in the sink that needs to go in the dishwasher but we're we're ready to sit down so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a vlog here this little guy isn't feeling too great so i'm just gonna be sitting here with him and he'll probably be asleep pretty soon so i'm just gonna wrap it up here i'll be talking to you guys tomorrow take care